What's up, guys? With Salem here today, and before we start, um, the audio quality might not be as good as normal. Uh, it's just because uh, I usually record my voice in Sony Vegas, but I'm recording it through Camtasia, um, and it's usually not as good. Uh, so, you know, you'll still be able to understand me. But uh, let's get on into this. Uh, basically, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to save your clips. Um, and anything really uh, in the highest possible quality so you can you know maximize the quality all right so first thing you're gonna want to do is and I wasn't playing battlefield 3 that was my brother just saying but uh first off if you have um, Xbox 360 ps3 and AVCHD so if you have the blue version of this like it's blue right here then I would just use Xbox 360 because it uh, saves as MP4, which is like it goes into After Effects. Um, but if it's like black here, like this, like thingy is black and not blue, then just go with with whatever works for you. But I've heard like this black version here does not work very good at all. So uh, device settings doesn't matter. I change them and they don't. They look like the same. Nothing happens. Format settings. You're going to want to make sure it is 13.5 megabytes per second. Zero, zero for Luma Chroma. Uh, one day I was messing around. I have, I've had these at three and three for like the entire time I had my PVR for like a year. And then I, I was just trying to re get really good quality all of a sudden. So I was looking at everything, trying to maximize it. So I put, I put both of these on 20 and saw that it was like horrible. Then I dropped them both down to zero and saw that it was like beautiful. So... That's what I use. See? Looks pretty nice. Then you make it small. It looks really nice. I don't know. That was weird. All right, but that's basically it for the PVR settings. And now I'm going to teach you there's two kind of ways to get clips. You can record it from theater mode or you record live so you, like, record everything. Uh, so for theater mode, what you're going to want to do is record, you know, your clip from theater mode and then um, don't like render it again um because you know you'll drop quality you don't want that you know um so basically record from theater mode just leave the raw clip put it in your montage folder whatever you have and now let's say you have a game here let's see here we got a 35 minute game no clips in it we'll, we'll pretend all right so first thing you know import your file you know, right click properties, disable resample, and then you got these black lines here. You want to take these out. All right, so let's find the montage clip. Okay, we got, uh, um, how about, let's just pretend our montage clip goes from here until, uh, here. Let's just pretend I get a quad feed from here to here. All right, so now what you're going to want to do, you know, most people are going to be like, all right, all right, render as MP4. No, no, do not do that. MP4 is like, like, it's not, like, uh, it's bad quality. It's not bad quality, but, you know, you could do better. So what you want to do, you know, go to your folder or whatever. Let's say, all right, here's my montage folder. What I do is I make a new folder, and th these aren't, like, it's only showing my... AVI rendered clips. Here's I don't want to show all my others because um, I I don't record live, so like only about five percent of my clips are AVI, so you can kind of see that. Um, here we go. Let me. S okay. All right. Um, so now what you want to do is what I do is I make a folder, and then let's call it quad feed. All right. So now this is going to be the folder with the clip that I just got. So what you want to do is render it as AVI right here, video for Windows. I'll show you the custom settings. It's pretty standard stuff though. You got the 59.94 1080 by 720. Make sure it's uncompressed for that maximum quality. And before you do this, make sure that your hard drive is enormous. Because one of these things is several gigabytes large. Uh, I have two terabytes, so I don't really have to worry about that. So you save it as AVI, save. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
And then once that's completed, though, you want to go back into it, project render as, and now AVI is just audio, is just video. You don't want audio in AVI, that's bad. So make sure when you save it as AVI, unclude audio, and then project at its best. So no audio, and now maybe you want audio. I, I don't really care because I just add in my gun sounds, but maybe I was doing something else that needed audio. So what you want to save it as a WAV file in you know the same folder. Um, why WAV? Because it is the highest quality file, uh, audio file, and AVI is actually the highest quality video file. They're both lossless, so you're basically just getting a beautiful quality clip. And then here's the sample rate, bit depth, stereo, uncompressed again, and then you want to save that too. Alright, so once you've saved them both, if you go back to your uh, little place for clips and stuff, let's go back to Quadvid. Quadvid! Um, so you would have like the video part and then the audio part, and you can just drag them both into whatever composition you have, and then you have just the one part of the uh, full game, but you've also got you know, good quality, you're, you don't, you're not stuck with some decent quality, you know, um, so that basically sums this up, I hope it made sense, uh, I was kind of, you know, just rambling on, because this is, you know, but if you guys want more of this, like, I have a bunch of, like, secrets that I usually just keep to myself for, uh, maximizing quality and a bunch of other stuff, um, so if you guys want me to, like, teach some other stuff, uh, I might do that, or maybe I'll do some color correction tutorials. Um, so yeah, that basically uh, sums this up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. A lot of people don't know this. Um, but yeah, um, that that's it. And I'll see you later.